are now experiencing the No Invite Podcast. Bang, 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 it's your peoples. We back again, and it's the motherfucking time of the year. <laughs> I'm Blaze. And you got Steph. And this is the No Invite Thanksgiving special. I felt like, you know, we didn't. We wanted to make sure we had something for y'all that week to drop on y'all heads. And we wanted to make sure that there was something, you know, something a little positive. We talk about, change the subject, and maybe yeah. get on some more deeper and some, some real life shit, like... Not that we don't, but you know, like just just more on the on the whole holiday thing. And I know that a lot of people nowadays, when it comes to the holidays, like especially Thanksgiving, and and, and what that really meant back in the day. And I know I, I see a lot of people that really get in a bad, get in a negative space. Like fuck that, it's this, and I respect that. Like don't get me wrong, mm-hmm. all for the indigenous people, and I know that. Right. But like. I feel like with this the the whole thing, we already know what it is. We know the motherfucking the the, the pilgrims came and they they learned everything. The Indians saved their life, basically the indigenous people, excuse me, saved their life. And in return, you know, they came and and, and did all this foul shit and killed them off. They fucking and, played them, exactly, dirty motherfuckers. The people that really were here from the beginning, you know, mm-hmm. like. So it's like um, I know I could see why a lot of people take this you know whole time of the year into offense and be like, yo, this is some bullshit. Yeah, well, because we've been programmed by, by society by these stories, but we have to look at the true concept of it. The as, true meaning. As far as getting together, You're like yeah, we know the the history behind it is fucked up, but we have to look at the concept of well, it. Well, yeah, that's what I was getting to. I was, I was getting to that, you know, because I I, I was just more or less like trying to uh, let people know that I relate when you say that that shit bothers you. Just like Columbus Day bothers people, and it's the same. It's crazy. It's the same people. It just marks another holiday where they did something foul to to the indigenous people of this land, and and it's like it's like a weird, it's like a bullshit holiday. Now, see to me, the difference between Thanksgiving and Columbus Day is the theme. Like I like the theme of the idea of Thanksgiving, and I don't mean like you know so much maybe the the. Um, the why you know the pilgrims and the pumpkins and all that bullshit that they teach you in school mm-hmm. i like the idea of it bringing people together right and being thankful yes. that vibe yeah See, now with the christopher columbus holiday there is nothing in there that there would be for in my opinion something worth celebrating yeah. who the fuck celebrates yeah. somebody that really came to a land and claims they discovered it but <laughs> they really didn't and then in return help begin the whole launch of enslavement and 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 uh exploitation of people that's like it's like we have a holiday for a liar. You dig what I'm saying? Right. And a thief and a rapist. It's like what in yeah. other countries that shit don't make you know what I mean? To me, that don't make no fucking sense. And even the same thing with this, like the whole the whole reason why Thanksgiving was based and founded on is we all know it's a bunch of lies and bullshit, and it was really not that um it, it doesn't reflect on how they really treated the people, you know what I mean? And what that what that the significance of them being out here. But um you know, it's like the whole, just the whole idea of it. Of getting together. And, 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 and exactly that vibe. Like, yeah. And, and that's what I like ag- about it. Yeah. And once again, like if, even if you don't have, you know, family, you don't get along with your family and you can't get together and, 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 and share the, those types of moments, you know what I'm saying? There's always other options that you can do. You know what I'm saying? Like me, for example, what I'm going to be doing and, and I'm not one of them people that's going to film it and put it online just to like show everybody that I did it. Like, no, I'm doing it out the kind of, you mean you don't do it for the gram Steph? Right. Nah, not that's not shit like that. Not Mm. genuine shit that comes from my heart. So like after the fires had happened, anyways, you over there. No, I'm just, I'm just, you know, I'm just so being observant. So like after the fires happened and, you know, grabbing what I felt like I needed and having this whole wake up realization of it. So I went through all my stuff, you know what I'm saying? And I got, I still got new clothes from a few years ago that I don't wear or shit that don't fit me no more. Like, you know, I'm going to take all that stuff plus like soap and other little things and I'm going to put little things together and go pass this shit out to the homeless. I'm not going to go drop it off at the shelters. I'm going to literally go on the street. That's another positive. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to do that, try to brighten up somebody else's day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And being in the restaurant in- industry, like there's a lot of shit that gets tossed out. And there has been times where I've been able to take some of that food, package it up, like maybe two or three things that I'm able to get together. And I really have given that shit out. because a little care package. Somebody yeah. on the street. 
Yeah. yeah. Just a little tip. If anybody has any extra shoes mm-hmm. or sweaters or blankets, All put a couple of them in your car. And when you're out and about mm-hmm. and you see somebody who needs it, yes. give it to them. Yeah. Yes. Like, you can do that. You yeah. will make somebody's day like, in, and don't just do it for the gram. Do it out the kindness of your heart if you really like, if you really about it. Because a lot, like I said, some people don't have family or friends that they can just, you know, turn to and go enjoy those moments with. But um, if you ain't got none of that, you can do something for somebody else. Because there's somebody out there that got a way worse than you do. And yeah. I'm just and that's true. what I mean about the Thanksgiving time also, because it, it also, uh, the what I like about it is that it inspires people to give back to other people, to be kinder to other people. So even though I don't like the whole reason why it's celebrated because we know what it's based on, I I, I could separate the good from the bad from it because it's obviously something that's here to stay. It's ingrained in the culture out here. It's not going away. So I, you know, I want to make sure that I got something. Yeah, it's crazy that we're talking about. Look, look on TV. Oh, ain't this a motherfucker? That's crazy, right? We talking you, about this Thanksgiving and all this shit. Every this time Thanksgiving we, come to, we come to Patty's house, <laughs> and she got the Simpson type shit on, and like they say, they always have that um, the, uh, the, the secret message from whatever yeah. they say, like they tell the future or whatever it is. We're literally talk, having this topic. Yeah, and a Red Bull com- commercial comes on about and, Thanksgiving. And then we have this whole Thanksgiving. Like, yeah, it's crazy. Hey, the TV, TV is watching us, bro. <laughs> We're not watching TV. It's watching us. It's true. Oh, it's true. We are the sitcom. Hey, you know what? My dad's friend years ago, before like the smart TV, not the smart TV, but before like, you know, you know, like the big screens, like the flat screens was out. Yeah. He had said, and now they was on drugs at the time, but he goes. <laughs> yeah. he, okay. So we know that. But he was like telling my dad, yeah, I'm, these new TVs, they're, they're going to have cameras in it. They're going to be watching you, blah, 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 blah. My dad's like, ah. And now, and now they, they got the shit. And now they do. They ain't that? That's a trip, bro. Hey, that's real talk. Everybody knew that shit was coming though. Eventually, one day, like, cause think about it. Like, ever since technology or whatever mm-hmm. started kicking in, it's like you kind of knew already. Cause we've been thinking about it. Like, if you go back to the old Star Trek episodes where they're having the communicators, you know, you know, and going like this, that ended up them ended up being cell phones. You feel me? Mm-hmm. That looked like that. You know, maybe it was based off of that too. You know, but oh, yeah, and like those like Apple watches. The fact and that shit. It, yeah, the fact that it was came, it came into life. You know, all that technology, so, man. That yeah. we're in that era. Yeah. So yeah. So yeah, that was just that's crazy. Like we look up and that shit is in. It's plain, it, right? it pertains to the topic. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But but this is a time of the year, you know, for us to revel, you know, everything in and. um be thankful. Yes. And, uh, yes. You gotta... I think, like I said, I like the concept. So, you know, I'm I'm going to go ahead and what I do when it comes down to stuff like this is like I'm taking it back in the sense that now nah, I'm not going to, you're not going to see me with the whole pilgrim and pumpkin shit and all Fuck that other that. shit talking, talking like I know what it's for. To me, this is a good time of the year to, 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 to a reminder of the year, which we need anyways, because these holidays are also based on other shit. Like, right. You know, so these, all these pagan holidays and crazy shit like so. You know, it's um, it's white a time man of the holidays. Year. Yeah, it's a it's a time of the, you know, cause it's spun. You know how holiday, you know how the government does it. They spin uh these yeah. stories, and the mm-hmm. culture spins these stories to make certain a certain uh, uh section of people feel dominated or feel like they are you know special or chosen or whatever, Fuck and that. at the expense of another set of people or whatever. Man, so, that's so, ugly. so it's deep. Like we could get onto that, but we are gonna keep it like different. We gonna we gonna talk about the good part. Like I said, the aspect of it. I'm taking it back, and the, the, for me, if it's a reason for me to be able to see my friends mm-hmm. break bread with my peoples uh give back help other people you know especially in the cold winters Man. and the times right now where all the cold is starting to start to me i'll take that part and and i and, that, and i could separate the two so yeah it's that time of the year and people are going to have all their own reasons why they celebrate certain things but to me i i don't look at it like i'm celebrating because of the pilgrim I'm celebrating because i'm it's i'm celebrating being thankful and, mm-hmm. and, and and it's like a day where we could be uh, we could have gratitude, you know. We could give thanks for what we have and what and what we you know we know and be thankful for a lot of shit. So and even if you don't think, well, I ain't got nothing to to give back. If that is something that you want to do, but you think you can't, believe me, there is something. Sometimes your time. Go talk to somebody. There's yeah. people out there that are alone and yes. don't have nobody. And what I mean by that, I mean it could be a homeless shelter. It could be shit, an old folks, be, a retirement say, home. Man. You could go in there, and you, it could be the library. Read, go read books to the kids. Man, like, there's so many. Somebody other needs you out there. If you think that, that that you're not that you're worthless, or if you, you think that nobody position. nobody cares, somebody cares, and you could mean a lot to somebody. And not even know it Like so um, it, You know Everybody has a purpose in life You know I feel mm-hmm. like You know There's times where we're negative And we feel like We're not fulfilling our purpose Or we feel less 
but there's also times where we where we do feel like we are or or maybe we 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 don't give ourselves enough credit for what we're doing and like this time of the year being thankful to me like it's important that you also are thankful for your life and what you do have, even if it's a little bit. You know, some of the poorest people are some of the happiest people. Yes. And if you don't have a lot of people out there and you don't feel like there's nobody, nobody gives a fuck. Trust me, somebody, somebody cares. You does. just gotta go out there and find them. You gotta reach out mm-hmm. like they like they would if they knew what you were going through. No one's right. a mind reader, you know. So if you you keep that in mind, like it's not that people don't care, it's that people don't know. You have to. You can't be the tough one, and at the same time. Um, want to be closer to people and right. you got to ha- find a way to to be able to be vulnerable enough to get to know people and, and put new people in your life that you know I was growing up I didn't have a dad so there was older guys that I looked up to they were my family as well as like you know out in the street mm-hmm. that actually gave a fuck and looked out for me mm-hmm. and some of them it's not like we were even close it's just something they said to me along the way that, that helped me out and helped me move something like or helped me avoid some shit that I, that I look at that motherfucker like, damn, that motherfucker's, that motherfucker's dope. Like, he right. knew that shit. He hit me off with the game. He didn't fucking lie to me. And, you know, he helped me in ways that I could, you know, that I, I you know, you, he wouldn't even know. And, you, right. and it's true because I've, I'm, I've affected people the same way. You know, just out of just acts of kindness. Things, yes. When I was on and I had money, I would help people out. I'd give them money. I'd take care of them. On their birthday, I'd take them to the mall and shit. And shit I didn't have to fucking do. You feel me? I just did it because I liked to. And, and yes. it made me feel good to just help be people genuine. out. Yeah. And, and 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 I've run into these people like, it's not even like they're really close. These are people that were just from around the way that I knew was my folks' little brother or their, their yeah. or, 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 you know, whatever. You know what I'm saying? And... I, I run into them later on in life and they're like, bro, you don't even know. Like, no one ever did that shit for me, bro. Like, that's the reason why I do this or that's the reason why I do that. And, and the same reason, like, if I ever ran into the people that taught me shit, I'll tell them the same things. Like, bro, you're the reason why I fucking. Yeah, but I some people do, do that shit for cloud and that ain't cool. You gotta really do it out of the kindness and genuous, genu- yeah, genuine, genuine, I mean, out of your heart. You know what I'm saying? Like, me, if I got my last little $2 in my pocket, and even though I know I'm going to get some money like the next couple days or whatever it may be, or that's just what I got on me. Yeah. If I really see like somebody who's really homeless and truly grimy and begging or whatever, I will literally like, what do I need this $2 for? Let me yeah. make this person's day. Cause that might Let mean, me help this person that, that might, that away. might be the last $2 that they needed to get something to eat. Yeah, you I don't mean, know. I, and you don't know. And, it's, and everybody has their own set of reasons. We were talking about mel- mental health in the last episode and that, that has a lot, a lot to play with. Uh, to do with it too because you know and, and people give up on people like that and not all people with mental illness are violent neither some no. of them are just on their own shit whatever some people just can't afford to fucking live in this damn economy Man. and and to me like I'm thankful to be able to say I have all that I'm, I'm able to think you know I'm not where I want to be in life what are you obviously. thankful for what are you thankful I'm for I'm thankful for a lot of shit man mainly like to, to be thankful for uh, having a place to, to live having my Man. family everybody's in good health around me mm-hmm. um having the opportunity to, to to and having the option to get up and do what the fuck i want to do it just so happens yeah I might, I might have to go to work or whatever but that's my choice i don't have to work if i don't want to i could go out and do some other shit but i choose to do that so by me choosing to do that then i you know I, i'm thankful for that just that option you know like to be able to i i, I was in a place for a long time where i didn't get to pick what i wanted to do right you know mm-hmm. so there's a lot of shit to be thankful for out there, and this the time, like I said, even though this holiday is kind of weird and shit, it's a good. Doesn't it? Uh, doesn't it seem like as the years go by, maybe because we're just getting older, but like the holidays and like all these things, like it just kind of changes every year. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like the meaning of it and the getting togetherness and just the people and just like I think you value it a little bit right. more. You start uh, when you're young, understanding. Because when you're young, you take it for granted. You don't really look too far ahead. So you're like, you're the shit's always gonna turkey. be like this. Yeah, yeah. You were well, you thinking about other shit, and it's just a vibe. It's a good time of the year, and it's like as you get older, you start savoring it a little bit differently. You start feeling like, damn, like this is, like these these are good moments. Like because they're rare. Like as you get older. The people that you're really tight, they got a life to live. They got to go do what they got to do. They're getting up and working and taking care of their kids, vacations, the whole shit, whatever they could do. So you don't, you don't, you're not as tight no more. So whenever you got an opportunity to not only just see your family that you don't get to see, but maybe even bump into some friends or you see them and they're, they're in a good space with their family. It's like, you, you, well, know, you or you could be like me in the industry and shit. I got to, I got to work and, but on you the get holiday. Money though. Yes. But it's like, I'm missing that opportunity. Now, yeah. granted, I'll spend that time on a later date, but it's like, on that day to some people it truly means something on this specific day but it's like i have to go i'm going to be in a position to where people who ain't got shit are going to come to me 
and I have to be their light when I'm serving. Exactly. You know There's what I mean? a lot of people that don't got a family. They, they, they go out and get meals and they go out to the bar and have a good time and, and get drinks. And there's always that social person you see at the bar all the time. Mm-hmm. They ain't hurt nobody and they ain't getting super sloshed, but they're there chopping it up and trying to, you know, trying to, be yeah. in a good mood. Mm-hmm. So I, I feel it like, you know, do whatever makes you happy at the end of the day, the day this time of year. You don't have to live like everybody. It's just because you don't got the fucking turkey and the whole spread and all that Man, shit on the table. Don't eat no turkey, And a bunch please. of people at, at your house. That doesn't mean that. <laughs> it doesn't mean that Excuse that's me. like that. That's it. You know, it, you you know, being thankful for shit and going out and doing shit and and, and having and that means enjoying your life. Being thankful that you got this fucking time to to be, do that be, type be of shit. Be thankful that to, you, you got the see. option that you could go and eat a meal somewhere. Or you could say Man. fuck. You could be the Grinch and say fuck all that shit or whatever you want. Like if you got the option and you got the choice, you know what I mean. That's that's dope because there's a lot of people in jail. There's a lot of people uh, serving the, in the services right now. Don't get to be around their family. Man. Don't barely get to see their family risking their life and shit. So for those people and for the people that passed away and all the points in between, you gotta be make sure that you live and be and be grateful for this life. Yeah, because it could be all it could be all gone tomorrow. It could all be gone, baby. So you know what? Live it up now. You know, enjoy it. It's all about moments and experiences and memories and. Uh, you know, good people, good food, good vibes, good drink, good. Uh, I think the food is times. like the number one thing, though. Food is number one. Like, regardless if you spend time with somebody, food, food. brings people together. That's and you why. guys want to hear something funny? So, like, this was like, oh, shit. This had to be a long time ago. I was probably like eighteen or sixteen, something. I was real young, right? And my family's kind of like broken up. We don't really get together like we used to. So it was just like, I got stuck in Santa Rosa and I had to call my dad. My dad came and swooped me and it was Thanksgiving. We ain't had nowhere to go. We didn't have no food to cook at the house. None of that type of shit. And we was, dad, what are we going to eat? Jack in the Box opened 24 hours. Me and my dad went through the drive-thru with Jack in the Box. We ate and we spent our little, that time together. And and we still look back on that. Like, you remember that time when we ate Jack in the Box at, for Thanksgiving? And it's like, yeah. I'll never, you know, shit like that. You know what I'm saying? You, it's about the moments, the memories, yeah. right? What, uh, Jewish Christmas or a Jewish Thanksgiving when they eat, like, Chinese food on the holiday? Like, what? Wait, I never heard about yeah. that. Yeah. Jew, uh, people who practice, uh, you know, the Jewish Ju- religion, Judaism? They, you know, they don't believe in Jesus in that sort of way. Right. They don't have Christmas. So, so they don't do the Christmas thing, yeah. And I mean, like, oh, you're talking about Jehovah Witness? No, no, um, yeah, Ju- uh, Jehovah Ju- Witness. Ju- uh, Jewish people don't Either. celebrate. That's why they have Hanukkah. They don't yeah. do Christmas and. But Santa Hanukkah Cosmo. is their Christmas. Exactly, but do you see that they're not talking about no they fucking Jesus or Jesus's like, birthday? Oh, they just celebrate it differently. It's exactly, but they're not. Ce- what I'm saying is the foundation of Christmas is celebrating Jesus's birthday. Oh, and you dig what I'm saying? They don't yeah. do that. You know, they they have their own set of beliefs, and it's kind of the same thing. Like like to me. I don't the same thing with Christmas. Christmas is kinda up in the air. People say it was Jesus' birthday and all that shit, but we don't fucking know that. We hey, don't know look, that look, for look. a fact. I know you know shit. Christmas is based on a pagan holiday, so it's like how how'd you how did you I know find some information a, a story out the Bible to make it fit on this holiday and all this shit. It's like come on, I, I don't know believe that some shit. information I'm about all that and I kinda don't wanna bring it up even though we, we have freedom of speech. But I really feel if I bring up the information that I know, it's going to be extremely controversial, and some people put it this way: if you know it, somebody else knows it, and they don't give a fuck anyways. But don't, I, nah, like but I said, it's, the whole it's point some of this pretty podcast like is it's some pretty in depth shit. shit. Look, I'm going to give you the link. You don't have to look it up because I oh, feel like I feel like the link to the dark. I'm web. telling you, no, but look here it is. If, <laughs> if classified if information you, that anyone could find on the if internet, if you have physical evidence, you have to believe that. If it's if you have physical evidence, no, right? Hold no, on, yes. no, you don't. No, you don't have to. Okay, believe it. so you know why? Uh, why? Because because most people that, that choose not to believe it. Are well, the that's same your people. choice. But I'm saying if you have physical evidence brought to you that nope. contradicts the entire information that you've been presented before. Okay, so look. Nope. Okay. All I'm right. Just <laughs> okay. I'm about to say. <laughs> Anyways, if you have physical evidence, it, it deserves an answer. It does. You can't just tell me, oh, this was created by such and such and such without no fucking evidence of it. Well, see, the thing is, there was evidence at one point, but the, it, it all no. came. No, no, I'm saying not evidence, but they made it more of an emphasis to try to fake prove it. You know what I they, mean? They, they, so you. now they don't care no more because it's so far removed. It's like, like I said, it's it, it morphed into some other shit. It went from being that type, 
to a consumer based fucking holiday to what it is yeah now, all know? these holidays that's so, why that's why the main thing is to spend that time with people the time time is more valuable than than the than the than the concept and stories that they yeah. put behind these holidays. And that's all I'm saying. That mm-hmm. to, so don't get too down if your fucking holiday ain't picturesque, like on the fucking TV or whatever. Or on the postcard. Because, yeah, because <laughs> because you know, it's that's fake. It's fake anyway. It's superficial. The people that, that yeah, the it, it, look at the good and everything and try to pull that from it and take it with you because if you're dragging around the, the bad, it's just gonna weigh you down. You yeah. Know what I mean? at the end and of the we day, all gotta spread that positivity nowadays. At the end of the day, we all out here going through it. Ain't nobody rich yet. You know, ain't nobody got this. Ain't nobody got that. People got money and they still ain't fucking happy. People, some people that are the poorest are the most happiest on mm-hmm. earth. So. You have to because be they able- don't have to pay taxes. No, I'm just kidding. Shit, I'm just kidding. I'm just- <laughs> you say that, you know, and, every- and nothing's part, for free. It's partially true. Just remember, they ain't poor for a reason. Nothing's for free. You know what I mean? Hey, and some so- people really choose to live like that too. I, I mean, and that's that's cool. I could dig that too. Whatever, like whatever, fucking whatever makes you happy. You know. So I think sometimes day. living more simply, it, you get a more peace of mind. I like to live as simply as I can, but with the comforts of certain things because that's just the way like our society yeah. is. You know what I mean? But that's I don't. What retirement but I, is motherfuckers right. want to live good and not have to fucking worry about money. It's like shit and not work no more. You feel me? But I, like, I just feel like I I can live simply. But I, I do have certain things that I do want to have and live by or whatever because like, a, like you don't want to be shitting like I'm on, not gonna on, sh- I don't I don't, don't want to have to dig a hole <laughs> like, like, like out in like out in China bro like out in China like you got it my grandparents went there a long time ago and they said that you literally have to go they had to do it you have to go and dig a hole and bring you when you go to China you have to bring your own toilet paper. This was like some years ago, but you have to bring your own toilet like, paper. 90s. Are you sure it just wasn't because they were 90s, American? They're 90s, like, Shit but also in the my my ex, American. My ex, his baby's mother, is first generation from China. When he took, when she would take their son over there, and this was only a few years ago, they literally had a whole suitcase full of toilet paper. Like you literally They had that weight, huh? You have they don't no. stop you they don't stop you at the border with that shit. They're like, you know you're not supposed to, to have this shit to China. I'm just saying, bro. That's they true. cause if they don't got it out there like that, it's like then why you have to bring your own. Like if you go to some parts in Europe, that you have to pay right here. You have to pay Raw to use the restroom in some parts in Europe. Parts of the city. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Cause yeah, but oh, but what you can't do is bring in liquid cocaine in the in the in the shampoo bottles. <laughs> Can you? You know what I'm, I'm saying? I'm pretty sure that's two big fucking different things. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's, but you don't want to get checked. At, you're talking about getting checked at the like... border. But, but you know what though? But you know what though? There ain't nobody gonna sure be nobody, transporting yeah. no dead turkey. You know what I'm saying? And what do you feel about that with the vegan tip, real quick? Cause we, you know yeah, what? I feel like this, and I think I had said something to you about it earlier. Like how? First of all. Stuffing that it, turkey. You 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 got a dead bird and you are stuffing its ass with stuffing. You know what I'm saying? Like really think about that. And I think Patty had chimed in earlier. Like you, we eat chickens and turkeys all the motherfucking time, but you go to see another culture and you you got motherfuckers in England eating fucking pigeons. Yeah, and that's like a flying rat, in my opinion. Yeah. You know what well, I'm saying? Well, you was talking about. Hold on. So, so check this out. But look, you but, was talking about rats though too, though. Like, cause we're talking hey, about how right. cats bring you gifts and shit like that. Oh yeah, no. And so my look, point so about if you that. Stu- so if you stuff in a dead bird's ass in your kitchen, you got a dead mm-hmm. bird. But you want to get mad at your fucking cat for bringing home a dead mouse or something that it fucking caught and talking about get that dead thing out of here and while you stuffing the anus of a dead bird on your table the like anus, that that's damn. just you know what I mean like that's just it's pretty explicit what it is what it y'all, is y'all gotta where else remember do you something. stuff it where else you stuff the, it the, the 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 listeners gotta remember something you know uh and, what's but, it called Steph's unapologetically vegan look the those birds are very proud and social birds they know what's going on and but, it's a horrible thing I really highly encourage look I guarantee you just try this even if you got turkey on the table eat everything else all the sides anything that does not have meat in it and i guarantee you you're gonna get full minus the meat and you don't have to contribute to that you know it's what just I mean? a habit to be real with you at this point with people because yeah. you're and fed something from being small if you were just fed one thing then it wouldn't it's matter it's so bad for you though but okay look, well so how about this out. though what if it's undercooked you can't eat it right so i feel like if you have to cook something to and if it's undercooked you're gonna get sick and you shouldn't be eating it I mean, I could get we're that not, point. We're not, we're not, we're not carnivores. We're not cats. We're not lions. But look, but, you know but what, what I mean? I'm saying is though, look, yeah, because they, they evolved that certain way, you know, we as, as they evolved through time, you know, they evolved that bacteria to help kill that shit so they could do it, whatever. But that's, that's neither here nor there. My All thing is, is like, is don't eat those birds, man. 
Don't eat them. I'm I'm saying this like this. Like, so we know that, so uh, when we're talking about the vegan shit, right? We're like, so, you know, the time of the year, you didn't like the whole bird, you know, like, yeah, people were eating that. I'm like, but I mean, animals eat animals though, right? That's a natural thing. A natural thing. So you don't think that at one point or another, like humans, uh, we ate like a deer or a buffalo back in the day. But or that's some shit, different. Like- it's different in a certain aspect of this. When indigenous people or those of the Americas or the Amazons or Amazonia rather, excuse me, they did it by need of like a necessity need like it was only so sparingly they would do it it wasn't mass production like we have now because it's a demand mm. now back in the days and you would know better than me because of your heritage you your yeah, folks li- would kill I lived a buffalo like 200 years ago so your, i would know better than you would kill because- like a buffalo <laughs> but they would be appreciative of it and stretch would you say it stretch that shit out for so long yeah well they they it was like it wasn't a, a, a it was like a thing you know like when they made the meat they took the meat and that it lasted it wasn't I, I mean, I get what you're saying with the mass producing shit and how these all these animals get diseases and antibiotics and all the shit that they be pumping in them and all that. But um, so I get that. There, part, there are but... certain things. There are certain things that you we can we can touch on the whole vegan topic. Look, we've been talking okay, so about look, we've been talking about this for a long time. At some point, we are going to have a vegan so episode. I got another question for you. What? So, um, <laughs> can a vegan eat ass? <laughs> You, uh, does that? Do you know what I'm saying? Because it's you, you, can a vegan eat ass? Is what I want to know. Is that? Does that make sense? Does that? Is that? Yeah, can he call does, himself? It, a, is so, he a raw vegan for that? Not eat animal crackers. Uh, no, right, but, that's a good one. Now you're just playing wars. Now eating <laughs> ass, and you're not literally eating it. You're licking ass. Well, you. I mean, I, I'm not literally yes, eating ice cream, can, but I'm licking ve- it. Ve- like, vegans, vegans <laughs> can eat ass. Vegans can eat ass. Vegans can eat ass. Now, I think that's a T-shirt. We're gonna make that's that T-shirt. Funny. You know what? Don't, 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 don't air this part. That's a copyright. No, I'm just kidding. Well, it's too late. If you do it, you know where you got that shit from. No, no, got, fuck that. We we're going to have it, it done no, first. Hey, hey, we doing that. <laughs> yeah, but but once again, happy holidays. Happy Thanksgiving. Be grateful and, and show show love, spread love. Get, you know, donate, go spend time and, and enjoy and savor and savor the moment. All that. We, so... Mm-hmm. How about this? Look, since we this is special, you know, we, we kept it short and sweet for y'all because we don't want to take your time up on, on Thanksgiving. We know the holiday's coming up. You guys are going to be eating good, doing all that good stuff. Um, what can, um, like, do a shout out. Like, who do you want to shout out? Do you want to do anything? Like, like once again. So I want to give a shout out to my mans. He, he, he going to be coming home to me real, real soon. He doing his little bid or whatever. Shout, shouts out for you and fast. Yes, sir. And then also shout outs to, you know, my dad. Shout out to my family, even though half of us or most of us don't even get along no more. But shout out to you guys. And um, you know what I'm saying? Um, shout out to the future guests that we're going to be having as well. You know what I'm saying? We, we're going to have, we got a lot of things coming up for you guys. But um, be appreciative for the for your health and being able to wake up and stand on your own two feet every morning. Mm-hmm. And you know what I'm saying? Just spread the love. I just want to shout out all my family, my friends, the people that I really care about. I'm grateful for everybody that mm-hmm. in my life that I put in my life because... If you're in my life, then you know that we have, uh, that we're special. Yes. That you're special to me because I hate everyone. So um, <laughs> I'm really thankful for all the people that are in my life. I'm thankful for being uh, healthy, being awake, being alive. Um, I want to shout out everybody out there, you know, keep it moisturized. It's, it's, uh, it's going to be Thanksgiving, you know, make sure whatever you do, you do it correctly. Uh, have a wonderful fucking life. See you next time. All that shit. It's the No Invite Podcast. And we outie five thousand, baby.